Good morning guys, welcome to Lost Phoenix Gaming. Today I'm back on Forza Motorsport 7 having a look at the Forza Fallen challenges for the week. But we got some bumper challenges, so we've got two sets in one go, which is quite good. Although they do say that they're lasting for 13 days, so we normally say six. So I take it that there won't be any challenges next week because we've had the... The double hit I and mean, of course you've got going for a loop a hot wheels event to complete two races in multiplayer hopper in a hot wheels manufactured car you've got prototypical racing if to win a race at road america in a prototype group racing division car and then complete a race we go at least 190 mile an hour in an early prototype racing division car then there's running ragged on the track. Complete a race at Circuit of the Americas in the 2016 Porsche 911. Then win a race at Bathurst in a showroom rally division car. And then complete seven laps at Homestead in a NASCAR division car. So getting into it, into the multiplayer hoppers. I've got to complete two races in a Hot Wheels car. I thought, I'll go for a drag race. I don't do many drag races, so I'll go for a drag race. And I'm going for unlimited drag or wheel drive. And nothing. Nothing's happening. Joining the lobby. This is the problem I do have with multiplayer Forza. It just doesn't work very well. It takes forever to connect. And and when you are connected, you do tend to have a lot of input lag and a lot of problems that way. But I think the drag race is pretty much straight line, foot to the floor. You can't really go too wrong, to be honest with you. You know, it's not like you're taking corners or expecting different things. You're just flooring it. Ten years later. So we managed to get in and I've picked the Hot Wheels Ford Mustang 919 P-Class. Got some mad tuned cars looking at it there. So it's just a case now of waiting for the intermission to come down. So I'm going to look for my Hot Wheels. I could really be funny and pick something slow but I mean, you know what I'll pick a Hot Wheels Mustang. It's quite a nice car. And I'm on my test track airfield apparently, one mile drag. How this is going to go, I don't really know because the thing about multiplayer is this is where you get the nutters. This is where you get the people who chew their cars and, you know, every little small change that, um, to make them a little bit quicker. And this is a stock car. I've not modified it. I've not changed it. This is literally as it comes. So I'm expecting to get my arse kicked well and truly in these, these drag races. But I don't really care too much. Partly because it's a bit funny. Partly because all I need to do is just invest a little bit of time to get, to get this challenge out of the way. So I'm in fifth at the moment, out of eighth. So... I'm not doing as badly as I expected to. Although I've dropped to sixth because the twin mill has finally spun up. So I've come in, in sixth place, 22 seconds, but six out of eight is a lot better than I was expecting to. What the hell this guy in me, McLaren MP4, was doing, I don't know. I mean, he'd stopped and had his lunch. So this week we have got these bumper challenges. We've got, we've got twice as many as normal and they last for twice as long. So it's all a bit... It's all a bit funny in a way because I'm basically going to struggle for something next week. But I have got a plan on this one. And I'll tell you about that a bit later. But... Um, because I've got these challenges, I'm actually going to record them um, all in one go. Well, I did the races over a couple of days, and what I'll be doing is I'll be splitting them down the middle. 
so I'll be saying I'll do the first three challenge sets in this video which will be part one and then the second of the three challenge sets will be part two and I will upload those probably tomorrow because at the moment right now I've recorded all of them and I'm sitting down I'm doing my commentary I'm doing my voiceovers and I will do them all together but when this goes out to encoding I'll split them into the two videos for next week oh by the way if you hear this talking in the background these are my two sons my eight-year-old and my ten-year-old and my ten-year-old is teaching my eight-year-old to play Forza Mode Sport 7 right because my seven-year-old is a Fortnite person he's a Roblox person he's a Minecraft person he's, he plays those sort of games my ten-year-old he's plays that stuff but he also plays Forza Horizon 4, he plays Forza 7, he plays Assassin's Creed and different stuff. He's he's just into a lot obviously into a lot more games than my seven year old is. But um the reason why he's teaching him to play is I was having a look on the Black Friday sales and whatnot yesterday on the Xbox store to see if there's any anything decent really. Which is a bit hit and miss, but um, what I found was that the car pass for Forza 7, instead of being about £24, has gone down to about £6. So I'm thinking, you know what, I've sort of held off on getting this stuff, this VIP and the car pass, mainly because I've not really been able to justify the cost for what it is. And at £6, it was like six pound ninety something, so I imagine that would probably translate one for one into US dollars in the US store. Um, and I bought it, so I've got the car pass. So I've unlocked a ton of cars, and this is what I'm going to do for next week. If there's no more challenges appearing on Friday, what I will do is I will do the November car pass challenges, and I will upload those in lieu of next week's weekly Forza Fun video, so they'll be up on my Monday. So at least you've got a schedule, you've got some stuff to watch. But having a look back at this, um, I've decided to have a look at the twin mill, but the twin mill's a bit basic. It's a bit, I thought, let's try and tune it up a little bit if I can, and see what I can do. I've not been able to do it, unfortunately. It's, it seems to have timed out. So uh, basically, I've got a stock twin mill. This is not going to end well. This is only a, a quarter of a mile away, so I don't think the twin mill is going to speed up in time. And whatever the hell that was, that's just flown past me. I haven't got a chance in hell on this one and there's not a lot I can do about it at the moment because I've still got to do a few heats in order to to actually move on so I'm letting this run oh it's a half mile drag strip not the quarter mile for a quarter but either way it's still not fast enough for the twin mill to spin up and also for the fact that the twin mill is quite possibly like the slowest car in this heat but now I bought the car pass downloaded loads of extra car packs loads of extra stuff which is also unlocks the challenges which is brilliant and I'll be sitting down a bit later going through those and just just getting them done and I'll upload these next week for you guys to watch but this is where my son comes in of course um, he's got up this morning he's gone oh I'll go on the Xbox he's gone on the Xbox decided to have a look at Forza 7 and what does he see all these car packs suddenly appearing on his loading screen he's going brilliant he's got the Bugatti he's got he's got 
other stuff. I can't remember what the hell's in it now. Because I've got so many cars, I can't even remember. I've just hit the gold collector badge. 500 cars. So I've got so many, I can't remember exactly what's in there. But there's loads of stuff. But he's gone on. They've got a Bugatti Chiron. And he, and he loves it. He, he races it around on Horizon 4. And he's got oh, brilliant. He's got, he's got the Hoonicorn pack on there. And he's going fantastic. So he's getting into it. My other son gets up and goes, what are you doing? And he goes, oh, I've got this, got all these extra cars. So my youngest turns around and goes, oh, I want, I want to play, I want to race you, I want to have a game. But he's never played it. And he doesn't tend to play racing games too much, but he hasn't played it. And, and then I've got a situation where I'm sitting uh, by my computer actually doing voiceovers for this. And I've got them two fools in there messing about racing being a bit loud and well just just having a bit of fun really on forza seven so it looks like with my youngest i'm gonna end up with a battle um over the xbox but i've just completed two of the challenges i've done the going for the loop challenge and i've also completed the online multiplayer because that was two matches online I did three before, just messing about, but wasn't really getting anywhere. Moving on, gets me the prototypical racing. Win a race at Road America in a prototype group racing division car. So going into it, I'm having a little race, bit of a bomb. I've got the Lola, I think this is. Yep, it's for Lola. And... Not doing too badly. I like the paint job, it's really cool. I like that, the, the black with the red. The front, that looks really good. Having a fly. I decided not to do these races on my own. Because in the past I've just said, I'm on my own on a track, let's have a, let's just go around and do a lap. I thought I'll mix it up a bit. I'll put another driver tar in, someone to have a little battle with. I haven't got them on unbeatable. Every time I record these at night, I'm certainly not messing around with that because I'm usually falling asleep with them. But um, I think it's on average at the moment, so it shouldn't really be too much of an issue. But I put another driver tire in to give me a little bit of a challenge. This one's a bit bit naggy, a bit violent. We've got a wheel to wheel at the end here and run them into a wall. I need to get that oof sound effect of Roblox to put every time I actually do something like this because I am a bit of a, a dirty racer. So it's, yes, yeah, so I've got the number 10 loader T163 versus the 66 Chaparral 2E. So that's that one out of the way, that's pretty simple. Got the pop-up telling me I've made progress in prototypical racing. Still wearing my funky driver gear for the Hot Wheels. Into my Forza Fun screen and complete a race where you go at least 190 miles an hour in an early prototype racing car. Fantastic. That was a quick cut. I've gone for this thing. Monster branded. General Hoonigan-esque. So, let's go. Decided to go for the Indy uh, Speedway. Simply because it's got a lovely long straight where I can absolutely hammer it down. Although looking at it so far, 190 mile an hour. It's not going to be a challenge for this. I'm doing 187 on corners. So, 197... 98, 200, and I've had to slow it down a bit because I almost went off the track. But I've hit it, I've hit the 190, I'm happy. Stuck it to one lap, quick race round, get it done, move on, and see what else is available. So I'm coming up towards the line, giving it an absolute kick, hitting my wall, totally ballsing it up, but still. 52 seconds round the track, I've hit my target and it all works perfectly well.
So into my force on screen, what have I got? I've got my credits, that's what I've got. 60,000 credits, all good. Next, running ragged on the track. Complete a race at Circuit of the Americas in the 2016 Porsche 911. Okay, let's go, shall we? So, Circuit of the Americas. I've got the Porsche 911 in red. I don't really like Porsches. I actually don't. I just don't like them. I don't like the handling. I just... I just genuinely don't like them. It's one German car I don't like. But um, it's not doing too badly around the track here. It's a bit slow, but, you know, don't expect it on the corners too much in one of these. But, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things. We've got loads of chances here. Bloody loads. So I've split them over two days. Started recording them Friday night. Did the first set. Ended up falling asleep. Because I do way too much stuff in the day to be doing this stuff at night, but it's the only chance I get to get on the Xbox really. And I did the other ones the next day, the second set the next day, so. For purposes of this video, they are separate challenges, separate things. And 15 seconds across the line. I just had to tell my two lads to keep the noise down a bit because my youngest was singing Baby Shark. Yes, I know, Baby Shark. And annoying the hell out of my eldest, you cannot stand the song. So I'm getting pop ups. You made progress in running ragged on the track. I go into the Forza Von screen and see what I've got. Win a race at Bathurst Mount Panorama in a showroom rally division car. This is working towards the Audi number two, Audi Sport Quattro S1, which is quite a nice little rally car, quite like that. For this, I've decided to go for the Volvo, the old battered, rusty, clapped out little Volvo around Bathurst. Firstly, this isn't the quickest car in the world, but it's, it's part of the showroom rally division, so it's as good as any to use. And I haven't used it in a while. And the Bathurst circuit, which I'm not overly keen on, to be honest. It's one of those ones where you just tend to hit everything on the way round. If you're not hitting the walls, you're hitting the damn tyres. It's one of those things that just does sort of bug me. But it's one of those tracks where when it comes up in a challenge, you just have to do it. So in the Volvo, round Bathurst, taking it easy. I don't want to hit too many tyres because I have got another driver tyre. I've got another play computer control player. And the whole point is to win the challenge, to win the race. So need to be a bit more careful, particularly as I'm doing this at the peak of falling asleep. Once we're out of this, once we're onto a straight, it's not too bad. You just need to be aware that there is a little nick in the track, it's a little slight turn which if you're going a bit too quick, which I don't think is a risk in this car, will send you absolutely flying. Now, I'm not sure why the challenges are actually double this week and it doesn't seem to be any this week. I know looking on me, Forza website on the ForzaMotorsport.net it does actually say about different Hot Wheels events, different things that are coming up so I'm not sure quite why they've done this. I don't know whether stuff will appear next week once I've done like the car pass stuff and the other side. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we will get challenges. Probably not given the fact that you have two sets which are 
updated with a two week timer. So I don't really know what's going on with Forza. I actually don't because normally it's a one week challenge every week, three challenges every week. I've done that one anyway, so I've made progress in running ragged on the track. Next race, claim my rewards and crap, which I'll edit out. And then it's just a case of having a look at what's next. So going in, and I've got to complete seven laps at Homestead in a NASCAR division car. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all, to be perfectly honest with you. I mean, my running time in now is just over 20 minutes. I normally try to keep these under 30 if I can. And hey, kids, it's Lightning McQueen. So, seven laps. What should I do with this, guys? Shall I cut it or shall I leave it running? seven laps round the track and in all fairness I will probably cut it because given that you can normally take about a minute 50 seconds to a minute in something like this to do this race so what I've done is I've cut it back onto the last lap so you think you see me cross the line of the first lap going into the second and I am now on the, on the final lap I've cut the bits out in between just for continuity so that's all good So you can see, 3 minutes 59 it took me, that's not too bad. That's actually not too bad at all, so 32 seconds is the fastest lap. Definitely a win on that one, the Homestead Speedway circuit. Can't go far wrong. So I'll say to you guys is, I'll leave that here for now, this was part one. Part two I will do for tomorrow. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button. If you want to leave me a comment, please do so. Hit subscribe to keep up to date with what I'm doing. I'm almost at 100, so I can pick my custom name for my channel, which is brilliant. I've got about 95 at the time of recording this. So that's absolutely fantastic. And thank you guys for supporting me and subscribing and liking my videos and just coming back week after week to see what I'm up to. So thank you all for that. So until next time, guys. Thanks for watching, take it easy, and I'll see you tomorrow in part two.